wanted to fill you in on what I'm doing in the kitchen here. Monday, today is Monday, and it has kind of turned into my kitchen reset day. Um, kind of just like go through the fridge, assess what I have, what I need to use up, what maybe needs to be pitched, um, and <clears throat> what I need to get at the grocery store um, this week. So yeah, today is kind of going to be a reset day in my kitchen. So this week is actually a little bit different because we are planning to go away on a little trip on Friday to visit my sister and her family for Christmas. Um, we will be there Friday through following Tuesday. Next week is Christmas. I can't believe that um, we are so close already, but here we are. <laughs> it um, always sneaks up on us every single year. My husband and I are both very bad with being procrastinators for gift shopping and so as much as I hate to admit it and as much as I told myself we're gonna do better this year and the week of Christmas wasn't going to feel rushed I think it is going to feel a little bit rushed but that's okay we'll make the best of it we'll find periods of rest in between the busyness and it'll all be good but I'm sticking with my normal Monday schedule of resetting my kitchen, especially going away. I just want to make sure I know what's in my fridge, um, what we need to take with us, and if I need to get any items for our trip. I started off by cleaning out the refrigerator. Um, I used this spray that I made. It's vinegar and essential oils and water. Um, and it smells really nice and it's a good uh, disinfectant, just a light cleaner for the fridge. I found, and you know, I, um, I'm not always great at this, but I am getting better at being more consistent with doing this weekly reset, quick wipe down of the fridge to where it's not going like two, well, not even two, probably like more like three, four, five weeks between cleanings. And then, you know, I end up with a huge mess that's really gross that requires me to take absolutely everything out, all of the shelves and everything, and clean it down. I found this weekly maintenance really helps me um, with just, yeah, avoiding that huge nasty mess that I usually have had to do with cleaning the fridge. So, did pull a lot of stuff out just so that I could see what I have what I need to consolidate, um, what I need to maybe prep for dinner tonight. I do know that we have a good bit of leftovers, so we're gonna have leftovers for dinner tonight. Um, I may, like some of the loose ends of like uh, vegetables and stuff that I have in here, there's just a few things like some lettuce and some celery, some zucchini, a few carrots, like I just have some random, ingredients and I think what I'm going to do is make a soup. Um, I don't have a ton of broth but I'm just going to make like a small pot of soup that will just be a few servings that I can throw in the freezer and then we'll be able to have a meal whenever we get back on Tuesday or the following day I'll be able to pack Jesse a lunch without having to think about it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with some of those just like veggie scraps here and there that I have. I'm going to make a soup for us to have when we get back. I found taking the extra time before you go on a trip to prepare a meal um, that you can have when you come back to where you don't have to be wondering, oh, the fridge is bare, what am I gonna eat when I get home? Um, it's really helpful and I highly would recommend. So, I haven't always done that, but I, um, yeah, I've just been trying to get in the habit of thinking ahead and prepping more and making future Liz have an easier time <laughs> because past Liz has prepped and prepared the way.
Tuesday. So this kitchen reset has kind of turned into a two day affair. Um, I ran out of time yesterday and we went Christmas shopping in the evening and we're out kind of late and I didn't get to finish everything that I wanted to yesterday. So, also I needed to do some grocery shopping last night and today and just buttoned up the rest of our Christmas shopping. So, I am ready to put the stack of dishes away and finish organizing some things in my fridge um, and kind of plan out the rest of the week up until when we leave on Friday for New Jersey. So. Welcome to uh, Reset My Kitchen, part two. and then you know realized that I had a stack of dishes from last night and from my loaves of bread that I needed to put away um, so I just wanted to say quickly if you're feeling like you don't have time to do something you probably do I heard this tip um, that was saying you should set a timer if you're short on time you should set a timer and see how much you can get done in 10 15 minutes so I only have about an hour before I have to go pick my son up. My mother-in-law very kindly offered to watch him so I could get some stuff done in preparation for our trip. And so I only have about an hour left and um, I was like, oh, I have this big stack of dishes. Decided to set the timer for 15 minutes and I got all them washed in six minutes and now I just have to quickly put them away and move on with the rest of what I need to get done. So just a little tip, if you're running short on time but you need to get a list of things done, just set a timer and see how quickly you can get it done. Um, puts a little fire under you and it gives you some motivation to move quickly without distraction. So time to put these dishes away and moving on to, I think I'm going to show you guys um, a little grocery haul as part of my kitchen reset. So I went to a few stores today, went to Aldi and then a local farm market. Um, and so I'm gonna show you what I got after I put these dishes away. All right, so first thing is I got some Dijon mustard. I'm going to be sharing a video with a mayonnaise recipe and several different ways to use it. This mayonnaise recipe that I've come up with is so delicious and it has Dijon mustard in it so I needed some of that. Um, got some Greek yogurt. I was hungry while I was out shopping so I got some of this organic smoked turkey breast and organic cheddar cheese. Had some Dijon with that. Um, got a ton of butter. It was on sale at Aldi. Love that. It was like $2.19 or something. And so I got 12 of them because we use a lot of butter and I love this uh, grass-fed butter from Aldi. So a little tip, if butter's on sale and you're a butter lover like my family is, um, but you don't have a ton of space in your fridge for 12 blocks of butter, um, just store it in your freezer. 
and hope that you don't have a million things in your door taking up space. Okay, so next thing is some of this honey goat cheese, which is absolutely delicious. Um, my husband just discovered how much he loves this. Um, when I made a sourdough, goat cheese, bacon, and sausage um, pizza that <clears throat> had like olive oil as the base. I'm gonna share the recipe soon because it is so delicious. And this lighting's getting a little crazy. Let's see if I can this down. Might have to turn the light on. <laughs> okay, that's a little better. Yeah, so I got four of these goat cheeses because planning to make some sourdough pizza while I'm at my sister's in New Jersey um, over the weekend and gonna use some of this. Thing in this bag is just some organic eggs. And then apple um, pouches with applesauce for Elliot and to be honest for us, for the road. Sweet potatoes, we eat a ton of sweet potatoes in this house. I got this a2, A2 um, heavy cream. It's vat pasteurized, so very lightly pasteurized, and it's like the next best thing next to raw milk. Um, right now, I haven't been able to get any raw cream from my farmer because production has slowed down, um, but should be back up soon. But anyways, I get this at the local farm market. I want to make some eggnog with my nephews um, when we go to New Jersey, so that is why I got that. Um, I got this little craft soda for my husband's stocking. I'm gonna have to tell him not to watch this video before Christmas, but um, yeah, got this craft soda for him. Got this delicious caraway um, sauerkraut. This is so good. Got some elderberry syrup. It is cold and flu season and I do not want to get sick before we go to my sister's. So we're gonna be taking that every day, probably twice a day. The last thing I got is just a whole bunch of raw cheese. As I've said before, this is a staple in our home. Absolutely love this. You can never have too much cheese. I almost forgot I wanted to show you guys what I got at the Goodwill. So I'm very, very pleased because two things that I've been on the hunt for for a while, I found for very good prices <laughs> at the Goodwill. Um, I have been, so I got my sister-in-law's name for Christmas and I, I'm getting her a few different things, but one thing that I wanted to get her is candlestick holders and some candlesticks because who doesn't enjoy beautiful candlesticks at their dinner table to set a delightful and peaceful ambiance. I hope that's not just me because I love it so much. Um, so I got these adorable little glass candlestick holders. There's a pair of them. Aren't they so cute? And I was happy to find glass ones because I had gone to Hobby Lobby and I saw a couple different options. One was black and one was kind of like gold, but I don't think either color would really go super well in her kitchen. So this clear glass, I think is gonna be really good. Um, my gosh, they're so pretty. And they were literally $1.25 each at like buying candlestick holders new um, at stores, they're like 12 to $15 for one candlestick holder. And I'm like, you can get like new gorgeous ones at the Goodwill for a buck. <laughs> so uh, I'm so happy that I decided to stick with my gut and continue to search at Goodwills and thrift stores because I scored big in my opinion. Um, and then I got a second set. These were also only like a dollar, a couple dollars. 
Um, I just think they are so lovely. In my opinion, you can never have too many candles or candlestick holders, especially if you're only paying a dollar or two for them. Um, I'm trying to think if I got another book. I think I did. One second. Okay, <laughs> just came back from the bedroom and found the other book. But all books at this Goodwill are like $1.50 each, which I absolutely love. Honestly, I had some free time today and uh, was my mother-in-law was watching Elliot and a lot, I would say most of my time was spent just scouring through the books trying to find gems for gifts. Um, and I am very happy with what I got. So I got my nephew's name as well in our family gift exchange. And I found this book, it's by Max Lucado, which is a Christian author. And this book is called All You Ever Need. The illustrations are just gorgeous. Um, and it's a really good story too. And it's like, it looks brand new. So I'm excited to give that to him as well as the tale of Jemima Puddle Duck, Beatrix Potter, an absolute classic. I was so happy to find this. It's in nice condition too. And then for Elliot, I'm not sure if I'm going to give this to him for Christmas, because we already got him a good bit for Christmas. So his birthday is coming up next month. So I may save this for his birthday, but I have been on the hunt for um, Mother Goose rhymes and poems for quite a while. And I think I scored pretty big with this one. The illustrations are so cute. Look at that. <laughs> I'm really excited to give this to him and read these classic children's rhymes to him. So yeah, was really happy about that. And then another cute book. Um, I just really thought this was a sweet story. It's called Miss Maple's Seeds. And the illustrations, again, are just really, really lovely. So just wanted to show you guys what I got at the Goodwill. Um, and maybe if you hadn't thought of it before, it would give you an idea to go to Goodwills and thrift stores and antique shops for gift shopping. It's a lot more affordable. Um, it's less waste because you're recycling items that you can find that are just as good as new. And some people really don't like Goodwill shopping, but I love the thrill of the hunt. Um, I think it's in my blood because my mom is very much that way. So it's very fun for me.